Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this easy cozy crochet blanket. I feel like this is easy enough for beginners and it's going to work up pretty quickly because we're going to use a very chunky yarn and a very large crochet hook. Okay, so the yarn that we're going to be using for this project is a Bernat Baby Blanket yarn. It is the larger scheme that you can purchase, purchase from like Joann's Fabric or Michael's. I'll leave a link in the description box also. It's 300 grams, 10.5 ounces, and um, I'm going to be using a large crochet hook. This is a size Q, which is 16 millimeters. And here I'm just showing you the two different types that I had. The white one works up a little bit better. It's not as slippery as the blue. So we're gonna need four skeins of this yarn and we'll go ahead and get started. So to start this project, you are going to need to create yourself a slip knot and I'll attempt to show you that here. But if you don't catch on, it's okay. I have another tutorial on my channel that shows you how to do a slip knot. So there you are. Once you have made your slip knot, you're gonna to want to go ahead and put that on your crochet hook and then just pull it a little bit so that you can create some tension. Just make sure that it's not too tight. And then here, you're going to go ahead and make a chain of 70. So that's your foundation chain for this project. So you're just gonna yarn over and then pull through. And you're gonna do that until you get 70. Yarning over is just simply putting the yarn behind the crochet hook and then just pulling the, um, the cr crochet hook through the loop, okay? Just remember to keep a nice tension but not too tight because you're gonna have to work back through that chain and you don't want it to be too tight. Here I'm just showing you how I hold my yarn and um, really this is technique and you don't have to do it this way. The key thing, especially when you're just starting, is you want to get that yarn wrapped around the crochet hook and you want to pull it over. So that's the important part of this. You will, you will develop your own technique as you start crocheting more. And see here, I'm going to show you just another um, couple of times on how to do it. Now just keep in mind when I do this tutorial for you, I'm not going to chain a full 70. I am just going to do a smaller variation of the project so that you can get all of the steps, but you just keep going and um, you will be able to create the same blanket that you saw in the intro of the video. Once you've done your, your chain, you're going to want to go ahead and make a, a chain of two. So you'll do an additional two. So you'll do 68 and then you'll do a chain of two, which will be your 70. And then you're going to insert your hook in the third stitch from, the, um, from your crochet hook. So that's what I'm showing you here. That's one, two, and then three. That orangey color loop, that's the third hoop in the chain. And then that third one, that's what you're going to insert your hook in and complete your first half double crochet. Okay. You'll have four loops on your crochet hook. You'll bring off one. You're going to yarn over again. And then you're going to bring off the bottom three. Okay, so leave that soft pink looking one on the hook and then you'll pull off the other three. And I understand everyone has different yarn. I'm just showing you in terms of color for the tutorial so you can kind of see it. So then you'll find the next stitch in the foundation chain and you'll complete your second half double crochet. Okay. And I hope you can catch on. It's a little easier to see it than it is for me to try to verbalize what I'm you know what it is that you're going to be doing so I'm trying to go slow enough here that you can see there you are two three four and you're going to leave that one underneath that hook see that loop underneath the hook and then you're going to pull three pull through all three okay and just keep on going down the entire length of your foundation chain. Yep, 
and then you'll just pull over and this is what your work should be looking like if you're going along um, don't be discouraged the first row is a little bit tougher because you're working into your foundation chain and it just depends on how how tightly you made that chain um, I'm hoping though because we're using such a large crochet hook that your holes are going to be really large and you'll be able to work back through them really quick easily okay there you are and you're just going to continue that down the row and it's going to work up really quickly like I say because this is a very bulky yarn and a very large crochet hook okay, I'm going to show you again you have the one loop on your crochet hook you're going to yarn over now you have two loops you're going to find the next chain next stitch insert your hook into that stitch you're going to then pull through one loop and you'll have three on your crochet hook you'll yarn over again then you'll have four and then you're going to pull over all the bottom three leaving that one remaining um, loop on your crochet hook And I'm going to keep illustrating this as much as I can because once you get this stitch you'll be able to complete not only this project but so many other crochet projects because the half double crochet is actually my favorite stitch because it works up so quickly okay there you are I hope you can see that and there was that there's that um, stitch you're going to insert it in the top the top yarn on the crochet hook that naturally goes there when you yarn over you'll start noticing that you're not actually having to complete an extra step to get that um, yarn on the crochet hook it's it's very natural in the process I'm just showing it to you um, where I'm placing it there, but really it goes it actually I mean it just it just falls that way I, I don't know you'll as you start crocheting you'll see it will just kind of fall over that way Okay, I'm going to yarn over again and we're going to keep going and I'm going to show you once you get to the end of the row what we need to do Okay, you've got a couple of more stitches in that foundation chain. And I had a request to slow this down, and so that's why I'm trying to go a lot slower. So um, I hope everyone can follow along with it. With it. Okay, and now here we are. We have that last stitch. You just want to make sure you pick up, um, put the crochet hook through that chain there. You're going to yarn over again, and there you have. I actually yarned over one too many times there, but that's okay. It's not going to change anything. Just keep on moving. <laughs> it is okay. This one is going to be so beautiful and cozy. You're not going to even, little mistakes like that won't make a difference. Okay. So now that you're at the end of the row, you're going to go ahead and chain two. So one, two. And that's going to serve as your first half double crochet in your next row okay we're going to be working into that stitch later so just remember to chain two okay now once you've done that and you've turned your work that just means flipping your work around you are now going to complete your next half double crochet in the second stitch in the chain in the second stitch in the row so that's the first one I just pointed out you're going to put it into that one the second one there okay reason why is because we've already that chain two is going to serve as your first stitch so there's no need to put another one in the first stitch of the row okay and then just continue to do a half double crochet all the way down this chain okay 
I'll do it one more time then I think I'm going to um, speed up a little so let's see okay and just keep working a half double crochet in every stitch on that row yarn over insert your crochet hook pull up a loop I'm going to yarn over again and then pull through the three at the bottom, leaving one loop on your crochet hook. And I do have a video on my channel that shows how to do a half double crochet. I think I slowed it down even more. But honestly, I think if you just follow along with this tutorial, you won't probably have to refer back to that video. I think I go, I do enough of them here, enough examples that I think you'll be able to catch on. At least I hope so. And it gets a lot easier the second row it gets a lot easier the third row it just gets a lot easier so if you can get past that first foundation chain you will really be cooking with grease because you'll get you'll catch on you have already done so many of them that at this point you you'll you'll have it you'll be ready to move on now when we come to the end of this of this row there is going to be one little, one more step that we're going to add and that will carry us through the end of the project but I want to show you so you go go ahead and get to the end of the row but just make sure you check back so that I can show you what we need to do before we go to the to the next row okay so if you see there we have completed the foundation chain I believe let me just look at this real quickly yeah okay so we've completed the foundation chain we are going to have to put a stitch into that chain two so that's what we're going to be working on now if you hold your, hold your work to the side you'll see that that is not even and that shows you that you're going to need another stitch okay so go ahead and do your yarn over and um, do a half double crochet into the last stitch of the row it's actually it's actually not in the row it's actually in the chain so I hope that makes sense but do you see how that's flush that's even that's what you need because if you don't do the last stitch your work is going to get smaller so you're going to go ahead and chain two that chain two that je we just completed just now that's where we're going to put our stitch when we work back up the row again so just kind of keep that in mind you're, you're going to finish out your chain your your row but you're still going to have to put a ch uh, stitch in the chain oh I hope that makes sense <laughs> okay so again you're going to skip the first stitch and you're going to put a half double crochet in the next stitch of that row okay and just continue doing this down the entire um, chain or down the entire row I'm sorry Okay, now I've just fast forwarded it to week so we can get to the end. So you know that that's the stitch, that's the stitch that's in your row because it's got the two strings on the top. Okay, you're going to complete your half double crochet. Now you're turning the, your work and see there is one more um, place where we have to create a, a half double crochet and that's in the chain two. Okay. And that's it. I mean, that's the way you would um, complete your rows going forward. So, you know, your first row, you're just going to do a chain two, and then your the second, third, and all the way up until you get to the desired length, you're going to make sure you put another stitch into that chain, into the chain two. Okay, so you chain two, you're going to turn your work, and then you're going to continue to work down. So, I'll let you do that. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to end the project. So go ahead and continue to work. And then I'm going to show you how to end the project. Okay. 
and I just sped this up just for filming purposes please understand that if you need additional help you can either ask for help in the comment section below or you can check out my channel for some additional tutorials on half double crochets or you can just rewind this video because I think that you'll be able to catch on in any of those ways um, on how to do it but and the um, the stitches will be really large because we're using such a large crochet hook that makes it easier for beginners because you will be able to really see where you need to put your your crochet hook just you know as you start working along your project you'll be able to see it a little better you'll be able to feel it better so you know that's that's the beauty of this large speed hook that we're using okay so we're at the the last part of this row we're going to um do a half double crochet into the chain and pull through all right so now if we were at the point you had done all of the rows that you wanted to do you have the height and the width that you're looking for we'll be ready to end our work so to end your work you're going to cut your yarn leaving about a six inch tail or so and then once you've got the yarn cut this is where we're going to actually end our work and secure everything that we've worked hard to create. See, that looks really good. And it looks really good when it gets bigger too. So to, to um, in your work, you're gonna yarn over and then you're gonna pull through all the way to that tail pops out. And then you're just gonna pull tight. And that is how you secure your work. Simple, simple. Some people put an additional knot at the end if you want to. You don't. You don't have to. I don't. Um, and then you're going to take a smaller crochet hook, and I'm thinking. I mean, I think that's like a nine or whatever. Just something smaller if you have it, and you're going to weave that tail through the work. That way, it kind of it doesn't just you know end. You're going to weave bury that tail in. So I'm going to attempt to show you how to do that here. You're just going to wrap. Um, insert the uh, crochet hook through a stitch and then just pull through the tail and I do this probably about six or seven times until I feel secure about it and then any any additional tail I'll just cut off any additional yarn I'll just cut so I, and I work it down the through the project I don't just stay in the top row I think I just did that for the tutorial but I'll work it all the way through the project especially if I'm using the same color yarn okay and then you'll want to make sure so you'll snip it if you've done it enough times and you feel comfortable um, you'll make sure you do that also at the um, the beginning because you'll have a tail from the very beginning when we did our foundation chain you'll weave that through the same exact way and that's what it would look like so I'm gonna show you here how massive this blanket is I can't put it all in the frame I will have one more clip at the end that shows it again kind of how it looks when my daughter has it but it's a really beautiful project it's very very cozy the Bernat yarn is very cozy and I use the baby blanket yarn but you don't have to just pick the color that you like um, I have additional details on my blog so you can get that below but um, anyway thank you so much for watching Happy crochet. Bye.